I hate the fashion world, and I hate that it exists, right? It's just a bunch of snooty, fruity dudes telling people what's in this season and what they should and shouldn't wear, right? And listen, I'm sorry, right? But I cannot take their advice seriously. If you're wearing a big, bulky, chunky sweater, don't wear silk wool dress pants, okay? It won't go. With all due respect, mate, which is none, by the way, you fashion lot can fuck off, man. Don't tell me that this and this won't go together when some of you wankers are praising Lady Gaga for wearing the shit she does. Saying shit like, oh, I think it's wonderful, I do. Most people think it looks silly, but they don't see the fashion statement she's trying to make with this. What do you mean fashion statement? The only fashion statement she's making is, I picked out this outfit and dressed myself in the dark. But listen, while I think it's stupid, right? If you're wearing something that is deemed unfashionable, some people will judge you for it. So as a public service to all of you lot, right? I went to the inconvenience of looking at some current men's fashion trends so that I can present a quick and easy to digest summary of my findings. So with that said, right? Let's take a quick look into something I like to call a man with no fashion sense's guide to men's fashion. <laughs> When did not tucking your shirt in become a fashion thing? Looks like you dressed yourself while you were drunk, to me. Looks like you dressed yourself when you had frostbite in your fingers and you're like, fuck it, I can't tuck my shirt in, it hurts too much. This guy looks like he's in the process of getting changed. Like he was stood there going, one second mate, let me just quickly do this button up on my sleeve and then I'll tuck my shirt in and then I'll pose for you, yeah? And then the guy just took the picture. Listen, this is getting ridiculous, fashion world. As far as not tucking your shirt in goes, right? The only pass I'll give is to this guy here because he obviously can't tuck his shirt in in the first place, can he? Because look, poor lad hasn't got any fucking arms. I mean, why else would he wear his jacket like that, right? Because fashion! That's why, contrary to my initial belief, right? This guy is not ignoring the sleeves of his jacket because he lost his arms in Nam. This arsehole has arms! Two of them. He's just chosen to not put his arms through the fucking sleeves because this is apparently a fashion trend of some sort, right? To have arms, but to not put them through the armholes of clothes. Re really, fashion world? Is this the best that you can come up with? What's next? Not putting your legs through the legs of trousers. What could be worse than this? I mean, shit, why not just start wearing clothes that don't even fit in the first place? Now look at this picture, right? I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this is not too bad. You're thinking that this picture does not deserve to be in this video, right? Am I, am I correct? Am I right? Aren't I? Right, okay. But what about now? How short are those trousers, mate? Remember me saying about, oh, why don't we just start wearing clothes that don't fit us anymore, right? Well, turns out that the fashion industry was one step ahead of me on this, right? And they've made a trend where wearing clothes that don't fit you is how they should fit you. Today, we're gonna talk about 10 men's fashion tips. So starting from number one is fit. What I'm seeing is guys, they don't know how big or how small to buy their clothes. Well, neither does the fashion industry from the fucking looks of things. How did this become a thing? Back at the school where I went to, right? If a kid wore trousers that fucking short to class, I'm not lying to you, he would've got bullied so badly. Do not buy this shit for your kids, man. I genuinely cannot see why anyone would want to wear that. It looks so nerdy and corny. And also, right, not only does it look shit, it's pretty fucking expensive as well. Which makes no sense, because all these trousers do is make you look poor. I'm not going to spend a bunch of money just to make it look like I have no money. Uh, this might be my age turn, right? But I look at shit like this and it just looks stupid to me. What's happened to jackets? Now listen, I live in England, right? And recently it started getting really cold. So I had to go shopping to look for a jacket, right? But I could not find a decent jacket that I did not feel embarrassed to wear. Could they all look stupid nowadays? Like for example, look at this bellend wearing Inspector Gadget's fucking raincoat. This is not fucking Halloween, mate. What are you dressing up for? And besides, take it off, you idiot. That's a woman's raincoat. Like just look at these, right? This guy's wearing his jacket fucking backwards, but no, apparently that's how it's supposed to be, alright? This guy's wearing a fucking beanbag for a jacket, right? Like, I'm just... Like, what is this? Like, I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless, I am.
Well, well, not really. Like, look at this shit, man. What on earth? Oh, my... Look at his leggings! Look at his leggings! He's wearing leggings! Like, what... Why is it with all this feminine crap, man? This woman's raincoat. And now this asshole's wearing leggings, proudly, and he's not ashamed of it. Like, what on earth has happened to men's fashion, man? Seriously. Jesus Christ. It wasn't this bad, like, what, ten years ago or something? Because I look at some of these jack and I'm... What? Is this? That's fucking... Okay, stop. That's enough, right? No. Okay, listen, no. Alright? Zoro cannot be serious with this, right? This, this is a fucking wind-up, isn't it? You're pulling my leg. Jeremy Beadle's gonna pop his head out in a second, isn't he? I don't fucking know what you're looking so confident about, mate. You look like trash. You're out there on a public forum wearing a blanket for a jacket. You've got a man bag in your hand. You're wearing a turtleneck and you're still carrying a scarf for some fucking reason. And you're also wearing Goldust's boots. Fucking Goldust. When you're wearing something from Goldust's wardrobe, you know you're fucked up, mate. Instead of spending so much money on these overpriced fruity jackets, mate, you should try spending some fucking money on a mirror and then look at it in the morning before you leave, you idiot. You look like a plonker, mate. And really quickly, on the website, they also sell fucking handbags and just aim them towards men. And look at this one! That's a man's bag, is it? Looks like my ball sack! I'm not walking around with that thing in my hand! Like, no, mate. This is a woman's item. No man should be stupid enough to wear this woman's item just because it says men's on it, right? You can't just take a frilly pink thong and just label it as a men's thong and think people are gonna buy it. Guys, you should be smarter than this. In the same way that this is not a men's thong just because it says men's on it, right? This is not a man's bag. Now listen, all in all, right, fashion's just stupid to me, right? Fashion is dumb. And look, all of these stupid trends, they're so impractical, but they're fashion trends. I guess that's what fashion is nowadays, right? It's just do something that's different. Is it impractical? Is it just straight up stupid? No, it doesn't matter, because all that matters is, is it different, right? I guess just wearing something, fucking anything, in a different way to how it's supposed to be, no matter how stupid or impractical it is, as long as it's different, right? Boom! That's fashion for you, right? Fashion is so fucking stupid. These snooty, fruity assholes in the fashion industry need to stop talking like they're all high and mighty. You're all just a bunch of badly dressed idiots.